Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 new free-to-play games to play in 2020 and 2021. Before we start though, only 18% of you guys are subscribed to the channel, so if you want more videos on free-to-play games and more top 10s, then make sure to hit that subscribe button right now. Also tell me in the comments section below what top 10 video you want me to make next. Top 10 free-to-play first-person shooters, top 10 free-to-play Steam games. Tell me in the comments section below and the video idea with the most comments I will go and make. But with that said, let's get right into it. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have the magical Battle Royale game called Spellbreak. It's been in closed beta for a while, but it just recently went free to play. The concept of Spellbreak is definitely interesting. It takes the rather unoriginal idea of Battle Royale and puts a big spin on it, that being the focus on magical combos and unique abilities. Choose from 6 classes that all have different abilities, but the twist is, is that these abilities upgrade as the game progresses, meaning everybody is kitted out for the final showdown. Overall, Spellbreak is a different take on the Battle Royale genre that definitely hits the mark. Check it out on the PS4, Xbox One, PC and Switch with cross-play support across all devices. One game you probably wouldn't have expected to be on this list is Helltaker, the puzzle arcade game with an amazing soundtrack to boot. The concept is simple, complete levels and collect demon girls to expand your harem. Yes, you heard me correctly. Despite the unconventional concept, the game is a treat to play. You have a select number of moves per round, so you really need to plan your approach and it's addicting trying to crack the puzzles. Helltaker really is the complete package and it's actually made by a single developer too. It's definitely an indie gem on the Steam store and I recommend you guys check it out. Next up, let's talk about Diabolical, the free-to-play first-person shooter which is without a doubt the final hope for the arena FPS genre. Games like Quake Champions and the newly released Hyperscape have attempted to resurrect the long-lost genre of arena first-person shooters, but sadly both have failed. But thankfully for fans of the genre, Diabatical goes all the way back to its roots and it does it really, really well. It strips back everything to what the fans want, raw gameplay that frankly does Quake better than Quake Champions. Graphically, it's simple but effective, with a cartoonish aesthetic that puts the focus front and center on the gameplay. You've got your unrelenting speed and momentum, all your favorite guns like the rocket launcher and the rail gun, and of course that aim-focused gameplay that we know and love. This might sound a bit daunting if you're new to the genre, but don't fret as there's a full tutorial and an aim trainer built in. It's truly the full package. Now I'm not sure if this game will be the start of the arena FPS revival, but it's definitely the genre's best chance. Check it out on the Epic Games launcher, seems like all the new free to play games are on it, but it's on there if you're interested. 2020 has definitely been the year for Riot Games, with a whole assortment of new free to play games hitting the market. One of these is Legends of Rune Terror, a digital collectible card game that is trying to steal the thunder from Hearthstone. Concept wise, it's pretty similar to the rest. Create your deck, 1v1 players and attempt to destroy their nexus by getting through the defense and dealing damage. You can unlock cards, build up your deck and construct your own strategies for how you want to win the match, which is standard stuff across the genre. A worthwhile mention on this point though is that Legends of Ring Terror is really new, being released in mid-2020, and that there has only been two expansions, so building a deck is less of a daunting task in this game compared to the juggernaut that is Hearthstone. Graphically, this game is fantastic and it features all your favourite League of Legends characters front and centre. Adding the special effects and sound snippets and Legends of Ring Terror is a great experience. Check it out on PC and mobile. Rogue Company is the latest free-to-play offering from industry veterans Hi-Rez Studios, who are attempting to shake up the scene with a tactical third-person shooter. The big draw of this game comes from its large array of characters who are known as rogues, each having unique abilities and specific weapons that open up many different playstyles. Gameplay-wise, it's a bit of a twist on the classical tactical shooter. Of course, you have a bisection between rounds where you can buy not only weapons, but perks and weapon upgrades too. But with this, there's only two weapons that you can choose from, so they're specific to each class. And then the perks and weapon upgrades and the grenades, they are permanent, so when you unlock them, it stays with your character throughout the whole match. You then jump from a dropship into battle and the chaos begins, either planting bombs or hacking objectives depending on what game mode you're playing. 
Movement wise, it's in line with other tactical games, but the rolling feature and abilities definitely bring up the pace, making matches a frenzy regardless if you're playing bomb defusal or respawn modes. Now a lot of people have been comparing Rogue Company to Valorant, which I guess is fair because both of them are tactical shooters, but I also get hints of the classic free to play first person shooter called Dirty Bomb, as it's quite similar with its heavy emphasis on its characters and their abilities. Overall, Rogue Company is a quality third person shooter, and better yet, it's free to play, it's on this list of course. Check it out on the Epic Games Store, Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. One awesome game that I definitely have to mention is the latest addition to the fast-paced and addicting Formula 1 racer, that being Trackmania. This went completely under my radar and probably yours too, but this is straight up Trackmania with a 2020 coat of paint and it's amazing. Graphically, it looks like a treat. Fantastic visuals with relatively low minimum requirements, which is always good for free-to-play games. Gameplay wise, it sticks close to its roots. The fast paced driving crazy maps and addiction to getting the best times possible shines through more than ever. One thing to mention though is the monetization, as there is a few different tiers. The starter access version, i.e. the free to play one, gives you basically all the gameplay for free with regular seasons, plus solo and online progression, so for the most of us out there, it is really, really good. However, if you're a bit more of a fan and you want to make tracks, compete in tournaments and access the online hub, you need to pay up. But I'm okay with that because all the gameplay is in the free to play version, this is just extras and overall that is a great way to go and structure a free to play game. Overall, Trackmania 2020 is a pretty sweet game and definitely worth a check out if you're a fan. I know I sound like a broken record, but this one is of course available on the Epic Games launcher. They seem like I got all the new free play games there, but if you're interested, check it out. Alright guys, I think everybody knew that this game was going to be in this top 10 list, so I will be quick. Genshin Impact is by far the latest and greatest craze right now, a Breath of the Wild-like RPG that blitzes the competition with its graphics and gameplay. Now normally I wouldn't be the one to talk about games with gacha mechanics, I've covered a lot of free to play games in my times and traditionally games with these, you know, rolling mechanics generally aren't the best. But Genshin Impact is for sure an exception to the rule as the payable is actually pretty non-existent and you don't necessarily have to go and spend lots of money to actually go and progress through the game, which is a really, really good thing. Getting back on track though, Genshin Impact is a treat to play. Extremely stylized gameplay mixed with its beautiful graphics really brings you in and swapping between characters to perform combos just enhances that cohesion even more. The open world nature really brings a game into its own, especially as you can play with up to three other people in a party. Furthermore, the game is available on PS4, PS5, PC, Switch and mobile, and there is full cross-platform gameplay between them. Overall, Genshin Impact is a really solid RPG that is definitely worth a try, especially if you spend some time on the mobile as well, you play on there, you go back to your PC, you just progress more. Of all the free to play games that came out this year, Call of Duty Warzone for sure had the biggest impact and it dropped out of literally nowhere. A quote unquote expansion to 2019's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Warzone takes the gameplay, graphics, sound, weapons, the whole package and puts it into a battle royale format, stamping its mark as the battle royale game to play in 2020 and 2021. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is already insanely detailed, adding in a huge battle royale map and tons of vehicles and you have the perfect formula for a great battle royale game. Though the thing is, is that it's not just a straight copy paste of other battle royale games. Activision significantly improves on the battle royale formula by introducing the cash mechanic, where you can buy UAVs, loadouts and more with cash that you get off fallen enemies. Add in the second chance mechanic of the Gulag, the customization of loadouts through creator class and more, and it's easy to see why this game shot straight to the top of the most played games right now. The only reoccurring problem with this game is the hackers. It's been the thorn in the side of this game for many many months and Activision is still trying to stamp it out. Regardless, Warzone is an amazing shooter, an amazing battle royale game and well deserving of this spot. It wouldn't be a true top 10 list without mentioning Riot Games' new free-to-play tactical shooter, that being Valorant. This game is the true gold standard for free-to-play games. Insanely polished gameplay, tons of depth, really good maps, and on top of that we've got beautiful but incredibly easy to run graphics. 
The concept is not that far removed from games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but Valorant puts some spice in the mix with the introduction of agents, which is the same as operators in Rainbow Six Siege, or the rogues in Rogue Company, etc etc. Now while the weapon pool is the same for everyone, each agent has widely different abilities that completely changes up the game, including an ultimate ability that always has a huge impact. You then combine all these agents together into a team composition and it's absolutely wild. Monetization wise Riot Games is always on the money, with every agent being unlocked through in-game currency and that's a very fair system. There's a free rotation too for the agents, so every week the agents that you can access for free go and get swapped so you eventually be able to play with lots of different agents, and there's also tons of skins if you want to put some money into the game. It's the classic Riot Games formula, they do the exact same for League of Legends and it works very well. When you look at free to play games, quite a few are flashes in the pan, short lived hype that just drops off hard and fast, but I don't think Valorant is going to be one of them. It set itself up as one of the best shooters out there right now, it has a bustling esports scene and it's just a ton of fun, the game overall is very succinct, very polished and it's right games at the helm. All of their games are high quality, Valorant's a ton of fun and if you haven't checked it out, I definitely definitely recommend it. The first honourable mention today is going to be a quick one, I just wanted to put in a word for the new Halo Infinite. While it's not released at the time of recording, the next instalment in the Halo series is going to have a free to play multiplayer component which is absolutely huge. We've kind of seen moves like this with Call of Duty Warzone, but this is the next level, the whole multiplayer component being free to play. Now in an era where free to play is king, you look at Valorant, Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone etc, this is a really really smart move and I'm sure it will pay off and it will get a lot of people that have never played Halo before playing Halo, so definitely look out for it in 2021. The second honourable mention for today is Sector's Edge and I'm in love with this game right now. It's a free to play first person shooter on Steam, it just released and it really really has me uh, thinking that this is going to be the gem for 2020 and 2021. Now this game is sick, its main focus is on completely destructible environments like we've seen in games like Ace of Spades, but this one it just ups the pace, you slide around the map, the time to kill is really quick if you can hit headshots, it's really really arena FPS like and I absolutely love it. A really big positive is the performance. This game can run on absolute toasters and it has a really small download as well. And while it is new and rough around the edges, there is a ton of potential to really push this game forward and I am really, really excited for its future in 2021. The other honourable mention for today is Crunker.io, the super fast paced browser first person shooter. 2020 and 2021 are going to be very big years for this game, with a fully fledged Rust like survival mode coming out and a new Battle Royale mode too. Add in Season 4, a Steam launch and some huge events, there are big things happening to Krunker very very soon. Now with that said, if you guys haven't played Krunker.io before and want to check it out, make sure to sign up using my link in the description below, it's completely free and it's one of the best ways to support the channel, and hey, you get to play an awesome game too. Now coming in at the number one spot, of course we have the one and only Rocket League, the game that just recently went free to play. Now for the longest time this game has been paid, but thanks to Mr Epic Games, it's available for free on the Epic Games launcher, as the developers of Rocket League were bought out by Epic Games. Now no stress if you have the Steam version though, as it will be receiving full lifetime updates and support, which is great. Now on top of this, Rocket League is also free to play on the PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch and you don't even need an online subscription to play online on the PS4 and Switch which is sick. Overall this is a huge move for Rocket League and the skyrocket of this game to insane playing numbers, bringing it to new heights that no free to play game has seen before and that's why it is well deserving of the number one spot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos on free to play games. But other than that this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under.